Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. So, today I'm going to explain the refinery and toolsmith in thorough detail. I'm going to make it as simple as possible. So, the refinery allows you to convert wood and stone into refined wood and refined stone. And then the toolsmith allows you to convert that refined wood and refined stone into these uh, materials that uh, we you need to combine the refined wood and the refined stone with kingdom resources such as coal and oil and um, with coal oil glass and iron and with that you can make eight of these new materials um, magic materials I call them so you can make screws uh, I would not use that one. Which one? Which one do I make? I always make this one. Um, you need to do the research to unlock these. So screws, black powder, black powder, drill, saw, crowbar, strips, metal plates, and chains. So there's eight of these. And then once you craft those using the refined wood and refined stone, mix of kingdom resources you can make tools like this which reduce the wall protection and increase the range of just attack so these are like combination tools they do two things at once one tool does two things um, to do this you need a siege workshop level four so level four siege workshop which is quite cheap it's only like 2500 upgrade tokens and then like 500 construction tokens so that's like one outer realm of it basically um, and to get the best refined research the way I can craft 684 screws is through these crafting manuals so there's this one that costs coins this one also costs coins this one costs rubies do not do the one that costs rubies do the coin one um, max out this one and this one and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and that one, and that one, and that one, <laughs> and that one. And don't worry about these. Don't worry about that one or this one. Just do this one in the middle. Okay? The one in the middle for each one. That one, that one. The middle one, basically. You know what I'm saying. This one. Do I have to point at each one? No, I don't. You get it. You're smart. Okay. And you can increase the tool output with crafting items as well for example this one level 14 plus 14 percent bonus output for toolsmith components and you get that from the new materials uh, which you can craft and you get those materials from the horizon event so um, for these materials here you get them from the horizon event if you don't like doing the horizon event do nobility contest do really well in your nobility contest and then buy these and then sell them. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't sell those these for, until you've got 10 in each castle um, but then you can start selling them for the materials and that's only if you really don't want to do the horizon event. I'm happy to do the horizon event it does cost a lot of money but I'm happy to do it. Um, as you can see I've got a mini district which is pretty cool not many people have the, that uh, so yeah, that is the refinery and toolsmith explained. Um, if you do, if you upgrade those refinery and toolsmith, and you make those new tools, you could be like me and end up with ten thousand of these glory towers, which are twice as good as shield ores, and they give you glory. And look how fast they travel. So these with samurai troops would be really good for war wiping. And um, so yeah, that's just a quick video explaining the refinery and toolsmith. So thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next one.